In this section, we're going to start talking about fractions, which is really what the entire chapter is all about. Now, in section 3.1, you learned about the least common multiple and greatest common factor. And both of those concepts um, are going to need to be used quite a bit um, throughout this chapter when working with fractions. But here's where we first dive into what fractions are all about. So a fraction can be used to indicate equal parts of a whole. So let's just write down an example of a fraction to start with. Um, let's see, maybe I'll have three fourths. So you'd say this as three fourths. Um, the top number here, in this case the three, we'll always refer to this as the numerator. And the bottom number here we'll refer to as the denominator. All right, and so what does this, this number that I wrote up here mean, this 3 fourths? Well, um, for example, I might say that I ate 3 fourths or 3 quarters of a pizza. Right? And so what that would mean is that I had a pizza that was split into four equal slices. And sorry, I know my picture, the slices aren't quite equal, but you get the idea and that I ate three of those slices. So the bottom number, the denominator is telling you um, how, how many of these equal parts you have um, total, and then the top number is telling you, in this case, in my little example, telling you how much I ate. So the red would indicate how much of the pizza I actually ate. A couple other vocabulary terms to be aware of. A proper fraction is a fraction where the numerator is less than the denominator. So 3 fourths is a proper fraction, 1 seventh is a proper fraction. Um, so as long as the top is less than the bottom, it's a proper fraction. An improper fraction is where the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. So, you know, something like 5 fourths will be referred to as an improper fraction uh, because the top is larger than the bottom. And then finally, a mixed number is the sum, okay, sum meaning addition, of a whole number and a proper fraction. So suppose that, you know, let's, let's, let's say that um, a group of people ordered three pizzas like the one I have above, right, where all of them are split into four equal parts. Okay. And let's suppose that this one was just completely eaten. So was this one. And then one of the four slices of this pizza was eaten. And so, you know, what would you say? You would say that two and one quarter of a pizza was eaten. But understand what that really is saying is you're adding one pizza plus another pizza, so that's two pizzas plus one quarter of another. Now we're not going to put a plus symbol between these, so the notation is exactly as you see it here. You'll just put the whole number next to the fraction, but really it means two plus one-fourth.